Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what is most obviously very crucially important. Today on This Is Important... Angry Tangle in a Funky Jungle. I like both of those a lot. I come from the grind era, you know. Can I smoke weed? <laughs> Hello, pull the ripcord, here we go again. Let's go. Oh, we're yeah. back, baby. Uh, Purple side. And welcome back to the podcast, Kyle. Good to have you again, my man. Mm. Hey, I'm just happy to hear the K-Fed, happy to hear the diarrhea, happy to see you guys, Pop happy to, friendship. to be here. Friendship. friendship. Are, are we counting this as number two or one this for is Kyle? Three. This, this is three. I think this is three. three. That's yeah. Friendship. Yeah, oh, yeah, this yeah. is three. The friendship full boat. The boy is back in town and we're not talking Thin Lizzy. The boy is back in town. The yeah. boy oh, is yeah. back in town. You know, guys, I do I do want to, one time on the pod, have a serious competition where we all... No, sir, I don't like it. <laughs> ...try to sing a song as well as we can. No joke about it. Oh, I dude, really I was thinking that. about that, Blake. Here it all is. Right. I was singing the old Folgers theme. Okay. Because I got this. Should we each try it? that? Yeah, okay. yeah. I, I'll right. start. I'm an Oakland coffee man. And don't be funny about it. No, no, I was doing, I was testing my mic and I was doing it. Okay, okay. you ready? Let me so, wet my whistle. <clears throat> so yeah. weirdly, why did Folgers give us, they sent me a mug too. Because like, they're fucking G's, they get it. Yeah. Hey, big shout out, that's tight. Yeah, and they have the best theme song of all time. And here it goes, here's my okay. rendition. All right. <clears throat> the best part of waking <laughs> up is Folgers in your cup. Okay. okay. Uh, Very yeah, good. It started, it started out really I rough. love it. Uh, rough? 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 Yeah, it wasn't. I mean, it's cool. It's cool to hear someone uh, try. And that's, <laughs> I think, what it's kind of. Okay, wait. Durs, now really try. Really the try. best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Oh, he rushed <laughs> it. He rushed it at the end. He did. He kind of pulled the ripcord on it. Folgers in your cup. I think what happened is Durst got a little scared at the end. Was he, he, he was being a little vulnerable. I was scared my career was going to take off. Yeah, he was being a little vulnerable by singing, and that, that scared him. I don't want to get pigeon held as a musician. You have a very um who was that raspy raspy voice. <laughs> yeah, who was that guy in like the 90s? He had kind of a mullet. <laughs> Are we talking the 90s? He was like Rick Ashley? <laughs> yeah, wait, no. What was that guy's name? He was fucking You're talking cool. about Don Henley of the No, Eagles. I'm not talking about Don Henley. His <laughs> name it Boys was Summer. What was uh, that guy's name? Fuck, I'm going to have to really What what, what are you, Tom Waits? What do you mean? Yeah, it was Tom Waits. It wasn't Tom Waits. It was like he didn't sing Desperado. Brian Adams? Is it Brian Adams? It's not Brian Adams, but you are Brian Adams adjacent. <laughs> but wait, wait, <laughs> okay. Did he sing on the Robin Hood soundtrack or not? He must have. This guy was built for the Robin Hood <laughs> oh, soundtrack. For one, and and one, 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 one. Bro. All right, Dude. all right, Blake. It was Rod okay. Stewart. It's obviously Rod Stewart. Yeah, Thank Rod you. Stewart. That's it. It's not Rod Stewart. It's freaking. Okay. Hey, well, Blake. If you don't know, then you don't know, and it's your turn to sing. Quit trying okay. to. Yeah. There's. I really liked that. Thank you. Yep. You can't you can't set it up and then okay. try to dodge the the sing. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> the best part of waking up is mm. Folgers in your cup. Wow, uh, with the he flourishes. Put a little, he put Ooh. a little flourish. Yeah, it sounded real. Yeah, yeah. He put a little flourish on it. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank that you. was nice. That was nice. That was great. I mean, that was a good rendition, bro. See, Thank here's you. what's cool is that, Adam, you sing. Mm -hmm. I don't sing, and, though. And I'm wondering how much better yours is actually going to be than ours. Yeah, yeah probably not on. much better. That's the Let's thing sing. is I don't sing. Nope. Don't preface. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Let's hear it. Yeah. The best part of waking up is fortunes in your cup. Wow. Wow. Yeah, hell yeah. That okay. was really it's, good. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't like know the song. No, that own. was really, really good. It was like a much higher register. It Arguably was, the best. 
The best part of waking up yeah. is soldiers in your car. Yep. Now that one has some stink on it. Yeah, I like right. that. See, that's what that, that's more my range. That, that sounded, was higher. That, that was skinny like, Luther. That was skinny Luther right there. <laughs> that sounded like the mini mall guy. It's just like a mini <laughs> mall. Uh, Lee yeah. Market. <laughs> that guy freaking like, rocked. Oh my god. Hey, Damn. can I can I rock your guys' world? Please, uh, always. Yeah, fuck yeah. Absolutely. Oh, chocolate. Okay, changes the game. Chocolatey yeah. payday. Now, if you've been listening to us for a long time, <laughs> okay. you'll remember like, I got a payday candy bar. We we kind of got into it about it. Not really. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, some of us like it. Some of <laughs> us don't. Is yeah. what it is. Somebody claim. Some of us claim it's a candy bar. Some of us don't. And this one's covered in chocolate. So is this changer. just a baby Ruth? Uh yeah, that's definitely yeah. Does baby Ruth have the connective tissue the same as the the payday? The, oh, like <laughs> the heavy nougat, <laughs> the nougat membrane. I thought a baby connective Ruth tissue. was just uh you know like a I mean? payday. A payday was just a naked baby Ruth, but now this is a you know chocolate I mean? payday. Well, it's just caramel, right? Or caramel? Caramel? How do you say it? I don't know. I say it both nougat? ways. Nougat? I thought it was nougat on the no, inside. No, the stuff oh. in the in the Three Musketeers is the nougat. I think that oh, is like a caramel. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Mm. Covered. Peanut caramel bar, but now it's covered in chocolate. Connective tissue is caramel. Okay. So let me ask you this: is is that a is that here to stay? Is that a permanent or is that a limited edition chocolate covered payday? Because some of these limited edition oh, candies are fucking um, good as fuck, and I wish they'd stick around. Yeah, you know who went crazy? I don't know if it's here to stay, but Reese's over the holidays Bro. went crazy. What's up with them? What's up with them? Peanut they went, brittle yeah. Reese's peanut butter cups were so fucking good. Yeah, I, got I about well, lost good. my mind. They had a they had a Reese's peanut butter Christmas it. sweater <laughs> that you could buy. Oh my uh, god! I took a bunch of pictures. I'll post them. But like, oh I was at CBS and I was just in the aisle. And they Dude. had a zillion insane things. Dude, the peanut brittle, if you can still get out there and get some of those uh those those Christmas candies before they yeah. expire, was peanut, it brittle, peanut brittle or was it toffee peanut butter cups? These this one I got like these, specifically. These had the peanut brittle. It was yeah. delicious. I mean yeah. from a marketing perspective, it sounds good. Peanut brittle cups. Yeah, they you're buying. You're buying that. You're buying that for the fam over the Christmas. Yeah. Good job, it, Reese's. And feel free, Reese's. Like, no shots this. fired against Folgers. Right. I like, right. you know, I actually don't really like Folgers. But, <laughs> well, uh, Folgers is know, a state. Folgers, it's, but look at that cup. Also, Folgers is like, this is a diner cup. They sent an old school yeah. diner cup because Folgers, you know what they are? Fucking OGs of the coffee game. They yeah, really well, are. You say yeah. that, Kyle. You say that, yeah, Kyle. Right. But what came in that cup? Some fucking bullshit Keurig cups. And well, I know, and they're plastic too. You shouldn't mm -hmm. be using the plastic Keurig cups. Use mm -hmm. the biodegradable ones. That's <laughs> where uh, my dad hides his weed in a an old Folgers can. It really is yeah. the best part of waking up. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why he. I don't know why he hold, <laughs> he hides it. Because who's he hiding it from? You. Well, so he, you don't smoke his weed. Also, oh, no. is he hiding it or just keeping it in a place? Because your mom will take that shit. Yeah, man. Roll it up and light no, it. No, he like no. You have to. You have to go in his shed. It's yeah. behind mm -hmm. his t toolbox. It's yeah. hidden. It's fully like he has to explain Look, where it is. Let a man live an exciting life. Now, I, yeah. I, I bet I, you know, it's important. I think it is like you know. It's uh, the older generation is still thinking that they're going to go to prison with like. Eleven dollars well, of weed on them. I but have, I, I have knives hidden all over my house. <laughs> I believe that about you. You know, just cause Folgers Folgers cans were they used to come in a can before these Keurig things popped off. And go the off, cans, go off. The oh, cans were yeah. perfect Tell me about to put cans. stuff in. They, if you saved them, you washed right. them out. You could mm -hmm. put stuff in them. Tax. Screws. They're perfect for workshops. Yeah, there was so, a workshop. you know, maybe, your, maybe your pops got something baked in there where he's like, hey, baked in for okay, where nice, he puts dude. his weed, you know, right, just nice. a storage container. Where it's like, this is where I get my <laughs> work done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, get a little screwed up in and, the workshop. By the way, go ahead, Blake. Well, I was just saying, like, <laughs> also half the fun of smoking weed is, 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 when it's illegal and you can get in trouble doing it. Maybe he's just kind of trying to hold on to that mystique. You hide your mm -hmm. weed, you go off and have a puff. That's done though, right? I love weed and I love <laughs> weed. Uh, like here in California, it's fun. All the other things like having can, you know, the company right. that I invested in having mm -hmm. like 
Having mm-hmm. that be a legal thing that you could go to the store and buy or any sure. of the like little cookies that you can go buy and little, little candies. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there is something pretty special about when it was illegal and you had to be like breaking the law on the side of like your mom's house, quick, uh, quick uh, taking a few rips mm-hmm. right. before you had family dinner. Mm-hmm. Right. So, yeah. So, my, so I smoke a lot of like, you know, when I do and I, I'm on that tip right now. Nice. And okay. I got a three year old. Nice. Right. Let's and my three year old, <laughs> my three year old is like, like if I have like a fucking peanut brittle cup or something like that, he'll be like, Hell you yeah. eat chocolate. Mm-hmm. You you have chocolate. Right. Now I come in to like read him a story it. and I'm mm-hmm. fucking smelling like weed because I just nice. went and fucking. And he's like, up because I want to okay. do my best in the story. Daddy smells like giggles. Sticky, you have sticky. Okay. And he was like, he was like, what do you <laughs> smell like? Like I came in smelling like weed, and he's like, what is that smell? And I was like, grapes. I smell like grapes. Uh, uh. Like, and my wife's like, just say plant medicine. Plant okay. medicine. And I was like, all right, cool. I smell like plant medicine, plant and that's medicine. what it is. That's a really good, uh, good weed name you should open start that <laughs> god's burp i remember as a really young kid smelling like my mom wouldn't let me go downstairs when my dad was with his brothers mm-hmm. and they'd be down there and they were obviously smoking weed but what they would mm-hmm. do is also just chain smoke cigarettes mm. uh to right. mask the smell so i never right. really noticed the the weed smell th- that was that strong i i would right, be like right. oh this cigarette smell smells different than it normally does right so do you think you should start to smoke to again to sort of mask the weed smell or you're just i agree wait what what was that (laughs) you got to start smoking cigarettes again me to mask it for my kid or get or get off the podcast (laughs) or get off the pod (laughs) okay Okay. well you know that's an easy choice (laughs) hello pull the rip cord here we go again I was very surprised about weed when, because my dad obviously just uh, was dealing with cancer all of last year, and Mm -hmm. he was like, I just want to see if I can smoke weed. And then we're like, Dad, you're not going to be able to smoke weed. You have fucking lung cancer. And then the doctor, we're all FaceTiming because of COVID with the doctor. My dad's in there holding up the phone, doing a piss poor job of it, by the way. And, uh, And the doc, we were like, asking all these questions and then my dad doesn't have one question about his own health and then at the very end was like i got a question and we're like oh he's like okay this this should be good all right good he's invested and then he's like can i smoke weed and the doctor was like yeah i think that 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 would be okay uh because the carcinogen levels are so low and what we're about to put you through it'll knock that out right away and so Well, uh, weed, it's plant medicine, bro. There is like, there is some studies, I believe, of it killing cancer in a Petri dish. <laughs> oh, no. You know what I mean? There's also some studies of it killing children. What? Oh, oh, wait, Ky- <laughs> like Kyle, you had a, you had quite the run out. Did we ever talk about it when your dog ate ate the uh, the weed? I can't yeah, uh, we never talked about it. Or, I don't know. Maybe. Are we talking about things we've already talked about today? <laughs> Is that the the theme? Then no, we haven't talked about it. <laughs> it's impossible to know at this point. I mean, yeah, my dog <laughs> ate a fuck ton of marijuana and then <laughs> freaked out. <laughs> and then like the poor husky was like, you were there, Blake. You came over. We were in my studio and it was just like. It was legit scary. Yeah. Was, she couldn't walk. She was like kind of like bumping into things and like. Really, uh, um, yeah, like super it was hesitant sad. to step, like almost like were you jealous? It looked like kind of like a, a cool she, gift, yeah, yeah. Were you she like, was, this dog's she, getting a high? I will never know. This dog's glitching, yeah. Uh, well, how much we did I feel good? Did uh, the dog eat the how dog? I think the dog just ate medicine, like, uh, plant medicine, yeah, plant, yeah medicine. The plant medicine. The dog ate a lot of plant medicine, it must have been like at least a fucking quarter. A quarter ounce or something. Was it in like a like a food for, form, or was it just a quarter ounce? No, no, it was just they just ate the flour. They didn't eat. Oh, oh no, she got into fucking honey, bro. It was the honey. Pizza, pizza. Okay, because yeah. I had well. I had honey that I was I, I had honey that I was putting into tea, and we were making an album or something at that point, and it was like an like, album. She took the tea or took the honey and just munched it. Sipping tea. 
remember when we uh had that like cool was it a, just a lunch meeting with um with Cheech? Oh yeah. And he tr- he gave us like a No, not Cheech Chong. It was Chong. It, it was, was Tommy. Chong. It was Tom. No, it was Cheech. No, it was definitely Cheech. It was definitely Cheech. It was Cheech. Blake's right. I never met with uh, Cheech Marin. I met with Tommy Chong. That's the only person I've ever met with. Oh, we went we went to lunch with Cheech, and he ge- out in Malibu, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he said that, and he was like, "This is how you get rich, guys." I was not. I was not there. Oh, oh. dude, you missed out. He was a really freaking cool dude. He was awesome. What a legend! But he was yeah. saying the most. Fucked up he ever got on an edible was off of some weed baklava. Cause I think it was like weed infused honey and just like layers upon layers of it. And it just sounded like a quite the quite the magical trip. I mean honey in the honey in your tea is great for the winter. That actually reminds me. It makes me want to get some THC honey. Let's not talk about Cheech or Chong, because everyone we talk about dies. That's yeah, that's true. true. So that's moving true. on, don't, don't talk about yeah. people that we like. That's good. Good call. Erase that. Scratch that. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've gotten like obliterated on weed. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like I've been, yeah. I've been so like now I know the amount that I like to smoke uh, and just feel good. Yes. But it's been a long time since I've been like around a group and instead of like going like, hey, we're going to have some drinks. We'll smoke a little bit of weed. We'll do this. It's been a long time since I've been like, all right, we're going to hot box this tent or whatever get yeah. stoned well, yeah we're gonna uh, wear this gas mask and get fucked up <laughs> right you you don't like you don't participate in like 420 and say like this is gonna be a day where i just smoke my brain out of my head uh no not really i smoke the same amount i smoke almost every day almost every night for sure but i i don't uh no, I don't go all out anymore on 420, which is sad, which is sad. And I want that at back in my life. It's like the one day that you could kind of treat like the St. Patrick's Day of weed and you can just really go back to college for a day. It's the one day. It's the well, one I day. Mean, yeah, it's ex- it's slightly either. excusable. It's kind of like funny. That's what I'm saying. It's okay. You can get fucking stoned and especially work in this business. You can get stoned all day, every day and yeah, still be okay. You mean medic- medicated? Yeah, stone, plant medicine, whatever, you know? I can't uh, I can't act when I'm really high because I, I get two in my head. Acting yeah. is definitely different than sitting at the monitors watching future television or watching future movies. Like that's... Sure, abso- absolutely. That's I feel easy. like it's it's good for me to do that because I don't get a higher sentence have never been said. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for I like smoking you weed on set sometimes it, because acting is different than watching future television. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it is. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't is act back. enough. I don't act enough to know if I would be okay while super stoned, but I would definitely try it. Well, my, I, I you know, I've tried it a few times, and I, when I watch the performance back, I'm like, oh, I'm too. I can tell that I'm high, and it's mm. it's it, it makes the performance a little wonky, at least for me. Mm-hmm. But I, I mean, I did it like when I was first starting out doing stand up, and Ooh. then I've never done it again, just because I was like. I know a lot of comics that do get high before shows right. and they love it. I think that would flip me the fuck out, bro. Yeah. I think I would tweak. And I was like, I was like, okay, maybe I'll try that. And so it was like when I was like open micing, it was like six months into doing stand up when I'm like, you know, 20 years old or how 19. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was like, I, my whole shit changed. Like I'm pretty high energy, especially when I'm on stage. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, <laughs> really. And suddenly I was just like, even when yeah. I'm on stage. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even especially when you're on stage. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. No, even. I gotta uh, go on stage to relax. You're the fastest mouth in the West on stage, bro. Pew 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 pew. <laughs> I'm yeah. shooting, baby, and. Uh, yeah, I was just like slow mo up there, mm-hmm. and I, I didn't, I didn't like it. The thoughts weren't coming fast enough. Were you slow mo? Do you think you seemed slow mo, or do yeah, you think you just like... felt slow mo? No, my friends, my friends in the back of the club were like, "Hey, you seem really slow mo." Yeah, well, they knew that I, I, I had smoked with them. Yeah, and so oh, they sure. knew that I was trying this for the first time, and right. they were like. Yeah, maybe that's not your thing. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe you shouldn't get high right before. Because Mm -hmm. I think if your delivery is really slow and you and the way you tell stories (laughs) is really slow and deliberate, when when my shit is is coming at you pretty rapid fire, you're not really getting dug with high, man. And we not everybody can. Uh, That is true. I definitely got super high before uh, hosting Ellen yesterday, though, Durs. 
Really? Just, yeah. You did? No. No, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Plant medicine? I would have lost my mind. He Damn. was on. You know what he was on? He was on uh, a high adrenaline because when they when our I'm in my room waiting to go on and Adam's like, okay, cool. I'm gonna go out and start. I go, great, good luck. You and guys were together every, before the show? Yeah, we just kicked it. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Hey, um cut. then he took what I assume was a massive shit right before. <laughs> Friendship. Uh, or you were yeah. just in the bathroom. No, I shit. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. but okay. so then in the hallway, everybody's lined up <laughs> and they all start clapping, 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 yeah. clapping, 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 but yeah, they uh, the whole like production staff was in the hallway when I came out of my dressing room like, let's go, Adam. Like I'm an elementary school kid. Wow. It was like a hype. It was like going to the tunnel of a fucking NFL game. Ellen has them trained, all right? Okay, just <laughs> hang on. They must do that for all the guest stars. Uh, guest hosts. Or, uh, guest hosts because... Mm. I mean, I've done Ellen like a half dozen times, and I've never gotten an applaud, a, a applause, an applause hallway before. Yeah. So, but did she have it? Did she have it when she came out before you? Maybe no. That's what I'm wondering if El if Ellen, when she hosts, has that go down. Absolutely. I don't think so. No, I don't know. No, it's it seems. An old weird, but I will no, say you this: you have to it bow seems, and get down on one knee, and <laughs> <laughs> it's like a knighting. A -A. I, I, let me just say this. It does seem weird that like they would just do it for guest hosts. Like who was like, hey, a new thing we're gonna do for guest hosts is this. Like Exactly. I, I feel like maybe they did it for Ellen too. No, I don't think they do. I, I I it doesn't seem like they would, but it seems weird that they just would do that for guest hosts. Like who said let's do that? I think some guest name. hosts are uh <laughs> <laughs> they're either too nervous or they're too in their heads or whatever. And this is just a way for them to be like, we're all behind you. We're with you. Mm. Do great. Yeah. To, to be like, holy shit, everyone's in the hallway clapping. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was fun. I thought it was fun. I agree. I don't I don't disagree. Well, yeah. Did you feed off it? Did you feed off of it? And then you popped out? Sure. Yeah, man. He bit, he bit a PA. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. That's what I punched That's protocol, one. though. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's protocol. <laughs> too hyped? Yeah. And then I made theirs, uh, you, their, you know, Ellen's thing is like dancing and stuff. So yes. uh, I was really getting into that. And I bet. <laughs> and Durs came out and I'm like, I'm like, come on, Durs, dance with me. And you could mm -hmm. just tell Durs didn't really want to dance that much. But yeah. he, he gave mm -hmm. me a few wiggles. Uh, I appreciate them wiggles. Yeah, I, I shook my butt. Okay. Do you, Durs, has, Durs has low key secret cool dance moves, though. Did you pull out any uh, any specials? No, cause I, cause I was like, how long are we doing this for? Yeah, uh, and I did it. I wanted it's a to do lot it, of dancing on that show. I wanted to do it a, a little too long just to make Durs a little uncomfy uh, mm -hmm. about about dancing. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I hope I pulled that off. But it, it was fun. We had a. But my, all my dancing is like I come from the grind era, you know. Sure. Yeah. Um, sure. Absolutely. So it, it's very much like middle should school. We, should grinding. I have? Should I have kind of backed it up in you a little bit, and that would have made oh. you feel? <laughs> it would have helped. It would have helped me tremendously for sure. But you guys freak dance. Oh. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, I, I, it's a freak dance kind of like. Yeah, if I just on on Ellen, I just bend over the couch and you just let let me right. have it. Oh, you definitely fuck. you would have you definitely would have felt a poke coming through on you. Like if uh, a little oh a little bump. You guys should have done like the kids, the dudes who like dance on the ottoman. You guys should have gone yeah. off on the coffee table in the middle. Call me pipe layer. <laughs> yeah, you should have pipe laid it. Yeah. I mean, I will say, uh, who's home? Who, uh, homegirl from Modern Family. Adam, help me out. Um, uh, Julie Bowen. Julie Bowen went on before me, and they did this, like uh, this game where they had to answer a question with three mm -hmm. examples of like, mm -hmm. hey, name five things you hate about dogs or whatever, and then they would be like, oh, <laughs> that's easy. Shit. <laughs> yeah. well, no, but you have five seconds you to do it. You have five seconds. It's three things in five seconds. They can't handle their fucking weed. <laughs> five things you hate about dogs. Yeah. I mean, there were... <laughs> that wasn't yeah, were... The, the, the question, but yeah, it was, it was similar to that. But there were ones like that.
And one of them was like, five ways you'd kill a dog. <laughs> uh, name three things you could call your lady parts. And she called Ooh. it. She called one of them an angry tangle. Angry tangle, and then <laughs> oh, that's the, nice. like I know. funky jungle. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. "Oh my god, is this yeah. gonna Purple air?" <laughs> yeah, she's she good. was. She was funny, dude. Dang, I would have. I that would be hard to do that. I should have. I should have played this. Okay. I should have played yeah, yeah, this yeah. a little juicy. for 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 Durs coming up. Yeah, and just oh, as I back yeah. it up into him, right? I feel like uh, ratings would have soared. Yeah. Angry Tangle in a Funky Jungle. I like both of those a lot. I'm, by the way, Funky Jungle isn't even what it was. It was like nastier than that. Um, was it safe for TV? Did it did it pass? Uh... Yeah. Well, the thing is, is you forget. Like uh, Blake forgets always. I also forgot what what those ba daytime talk shows are. Are you know people staying at home with their kids, raising their kids? A lot of a lot of moms, ra mm -hmm. you know, staying home with their kids. A lot of young mm -hmm. moms, uh, old moms, and old moms. But they're oh, now sorry, mom. they're now like our age. So it's a bunch of like thirty something year old women that are are staying at home and watching daytime TV. And so you know they they uh, want to laugh. It's, they want to laugh. They're super horny. They're not all they're not all seventy year olds yeah. uh, at home, and they love this stuff. I get yeah. that though. It's I horny. Get horny, homes. and you want to laugh. As we established last week, they're super horny. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And they're at they're, home. We've, we've, they're we've going straight that. from Young and the Restless over to Ellen, and they are steamed up from that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, do you guys know any yeah. soap opera actors? Like I was thinking about that the other day. Those motherfuckers work like every single day new episode like and yeah. and the people who are on that show on those shows are on them for like 30 plus years and i don't think i know any of them and they them. do like 18 pages a day yeah, yeah it's like madness i knew i knew one dude i knew yeah. one dude i mean i'm i'm eating the payday right now it's Beauty. just okay how is it okay, mm. okay. chocolate um, fucked it up the chocolate adam, fucked it up you, adam you might have met this dude once his name is um I think his name was Charles Divins. No. Oh, shit. I don't know. It, so it sounds like a cool I'm name, though. Uh, yeah. I feel like our homie Satoru Beautiful Falcon man. was, uh, was, it did a, um. Was he? Yeah, I was thought he it? did for a little bit. Uh, I didn't know that. I, I don't recall. Wait, Durs, you say they shoot 18 pages a day. Isn't, don't they have to come up with a new episode every day? Isn't it like every day? Yeah, and these, writer, these writers are just like, and then the, yeah, he has an eye patch now, and the cousin's not dead, and like, whatever. Yeah, because those are like long ass like episodes too, right? They're filling an hour times? Yes, but no, half hour, half hour. They're half hour yeah. so daytime soaps? Okay. Yeah, dude. Um, but this dude, Charles Divins, he was like the hottest guy you've ever seen. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Perfect. As far as like acting went, we would be doing like scenes and stuff. And it's not like he would be, you'd be like, oh my God, this guy's going to get an Oscar. Mm -hmm. But he so casually, easily could just look at a page and then like, or a couple pages and then just like throw it away and then say the lines. And you were like, oh, he n not only memorized them as fast as you've ever seen anybody memorize them, but he made them his own, like very natural. You know what yeah. I mean? Well, I think um, that's incredible. Is, that's an incredible it, skill. It was unreal. Unreal. Yeah. It really is. I think you could get, I think all of us could get there though. I mean, because it's, it's as long as we're not smoking on set. Well, that Damn. is true. But yeah. it, it, it's like when, uh, yeah. when we were like in the rhythm, you know, coming back from the pandemic and then getting back into you know the show like mm -hmm. with for me the righteous gemstones, mm -hmm. uh, I felt rusty the first couple days, and then I started to find my rhythm, and then the later in the season, I could memorize much quicker than I could before. But yeah. if you're on a show like that and you have to, I feel like you would just get better at memorization exponentially. Oh, yeah. When I did um, Champions for NBC, um, nice. the way that that was on Netflix. Netflix. NBC. Right? Watch it somewhere. Um, <laughs> yeah. But the way it was written was kind of like everyone had like a chunk of dialogue where you would kind of say your own setup, your own punchline, and then your own tag as opposed to like you saying a setup and then someone else zooming by with the punchline. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So you had these like chunks to memorize and it – broke my brain because at Workaholics, it was a little bit more like passing the mic. Yeah. And if we did go on a rant, it was most likely not scripted. Um, 
Oh, you know, it, so you're still passing it back and forth because it's and, improv. Yes, and we would yeah. be improvising, and if we had like a long thing, you could kind of wing it and change a word here, word there. But so like my brain just broke doing that, and then ever since I've done that show, I can memorize things so much easier than ever before. Really? Mm -hmm. Just because I had to, because I was like, well, fuck, I don't want to be the guy who doesn't know it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And now to read something, memorizing it, it's unless there's like a weird fucking. Every once in a while, there'll be something that I just can't click with. Yeah. That I'll be like, I, I, this line will not transfer in my brain for some reason. Do you right. think, do you think those, like when you have the skill, I mean, I've never done it, but do you think like those actors, like the, your friend on the soap, is he like taking a fucking picture of the page with his mind? Like, how is that happening? That's Meryl Streep, apparently. Like, she can read a script once or twice and has it memorized. Has it has like yeah. images of it, and she knows where. It no, is not and stuff even. I, well, I don't know if it's it's she sees the page or she internalizes what she's read, but oh. she just can read it a few pages. And I'm like, well, no wonder you're good then. Yeah, if exactly. I could memorize like that and have it baked into my soul I, that quick, I'd be so good. Uh, well, do you remember? Do you remember the table read? She's not that good, is what I'm saying. <laughs> do, you, do you remember the? Uh, she just has this incredible skill. Do you remember the <laughs> table read for uh, the intern? And the table read for the intern, which Durs and I were both in with Anne Hathaway and Robert De Niro. Mm -hmm. Anne Hathaway and Zach Perlman. Uh, and Zach Perlman. Uh, <laughs> Anne Hathaway didn't look down at her page. She yeah. had memorized the script, right. the whole script, before the table read, which is like a totally crazy, insane thing to do. Like, uh, it's usually you just learn your dialogue. For the the day before, or as you you're might, doing it live, <laughs> or you might, or you might look at like yeah, what you're before. doing for that week, right. and then mm -hmm. sort of uh, just have it in the back of your brain. But right. she she was like looking at us and turning the page mm -hmm. as she's saying yeah. her line, and she I'm like, flexing. oh, no wonder why yeah. she's like an Academy Award winner. Well, that's like, I mean, that's <laughs> probably you know, obviously it's part of her process, but I would imagine that that's like the one time as an actor you get to. I mean, this is how I think about it as a director. Like, that's the one time you get to go through from start to finish and emotionally feel mm -hmm. the fucking thing, mm -hmm. because it's not going to happen after that. Yeah, and and act it as if it's as if it's a play. Yeah. After that, you're just going to be shooting pieces and talking I, about pieces. So that's I, a yeah. I'm with you on part. that to go yeah. from A to B. I think I told this story on the pod, but since we're doing that, um, in my yeah, tell it again in my chem read with her, <laughs> she like fully cried when she was supposed to cry, as opposed to just like, all right, let's see if this guy's any good, and I'll kind of like read with him. She like went in, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to get this. <laughs> <laughs> This is crazy. She's, she's oh, too right. good. She's We're too in a good. tiny, tiny room with three other people, and somehow she just uh, fully cried and did the scene for real. Yeah. Right now, that's a amazing. Some, yeah, some people are great Sin at that. Sin City. You got to cry better, dude. <laughs> no, I mean, oh, well, we, we, hey, Kyle, while you were gone, I cried yeah. uh, watching the new Ghostbusters. You did. The Paul Rudd one? The Paul Rudd one, yes, yes. Is that what we're calling it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm. Yes. That's what. Well, I don't know. I'm coming out of it? a hole. No, I'm Have coming out it? of a hole. I just saw the first image. Uh, where can we watch it? Can we watch? Can we rent it yet? I don't know. Is it buyable on? Yeah, uh, no, you can get it on I iTunes. So. I saw. Oh, okay. I, I think I saw a, a little banner for it the other day. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna snap that up. I thought it was well done. That's how I know it's a Paul Rudd one. My kid what, loved it. That's so you cried. Know. You cried. Yeah, it. Uh, that was weird. How'd that feel? But you know what? I'm actually pissed about it. Yeah, Thank fuck you. you. <laughs> so am I. I yeah. feel like I was, I was being manipulated. I kind of lost my tough friend. Yeah, um, it's like there goes yeah. the fucking asshole. <laughs> and you know what? As your tough friend, as mm -hmm. I'm sure I'm for everyone. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. It, it's tough not my, to be that anymore. Yeah. Well, sorry, yeah. my emotionally unavailable friend. Thank yeah. you. That's what. Thank I you. Yeah. My uh, my soulless friend. I'm proud of you, Durs. I'm proud of you. My yep. soulless friend. My robot. My robotic friend. Yes. <laughs> Good job. So, just need a recharge. My well, my brother said <laughs> the same thing. My, my bro said he cried and he loved it and all that. And I'm like, okay, I gotta check it out. I mean, I you know me, I love crying during movies. You think it'll get me? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, the bitch. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> Uh, I love it. I love it's it. it's very like if you like Ghostbusters, they're they're going for your heartstrings. Absolutely. Cool. We love cool. that. We cool. love that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, Slimer, check it Slimer, out. Slimer dies.
I'm just going to... Oh, fuck. No! No, are you serious? Slimer's Boiler not alert? in it. No, no, Slimer's uh, not in it. Quiet. There's no Slimer's Adam Ray. It? There's no Adam Ray origin story or like after oh, the fact God. or whatever. Wait, is Adam, Adam Ray, Ray Slimer? No, Adam Ray was in the um in the, the in the of, in the Ghost Bumper the, with the with the Ghostbusters with the with the female cast. Remember? That's yeah, just called Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Also, isn't he also the voice of Slimer Bros? He might be. You might be absolutely. He right. is. He yeah. is. He is. Yeah. He's the voice of Slimer in the Paul Feig ones. Oh my gosh! I mean, I, I wanna... I'm, I'm worried oh, yeah, now that I just let it. Yeah. But he's but he's also the voice of Slimer. I believe. And Adam huge. Ray. By the way, uh, Adam Ray is a friend of ours uh, and a very very funny comedian. Good he's buddy among of mine. Angel. He, mm-hmm. he's, he, among uh, <laughs> he's among angels. He's among angels. He's among the among angels. And he <laughs> was the efficient at my wedding. Yes, he was. Yeah, did a, did a great was. job. Did a great yeah. job. Yeah. He, he really made a little a little set out of it. Yeah, yeah. But did he did he do a lot of jokes and stuff or what? No, uh, he had a few, couple of jokes. As much as you yeah. want. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. hit me up. I'll let you know, full disclosure. He hit me up before that and was like, hey, and workshopping a few. And they, some of them were like roast. And I was like, maybe don't roast people dude, in the audience. Yeah. <laughs> he did the same thing to me. He's like, dude, I got this joke about Adam's sister. Like, should I do it? And I'm like, that's it. I, I feel like if you're asking me, maybe just don't do it. That's it. Yeah. That was it. What was, what was the joke? I didn't know this. What it, was the joke? It was something about, yeah, let's do it here in front of hundreds of thousands of people. <laughs> no, it was no. something yeah, about her having it. like a UTI or something. Huh. <laughs> I mean, I can't even remember. I, I, I just know. knew it was like, I'm like, don't, don't. Uh, do goodbye. I've done it before. I've been the officiant. Yeah. It's not worth it. You want to only a talk about love. Yeah. That's yeah. It. No, he, 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 he did a great job. It was, uh, it was pretty short and sweet. I think the whole thing was 20 minutes or so. Yeah. Um, yeah. We got, we got the video back from the wedding mm-hmm. and. Mm-hmm. Just, you saw ghosts. There were we ghosts. See, there was tons of spirits <laughs> oh, around. Oh, fuck! Spirits in it. No, it's just, dude. I gotta talk like, about that. The, uh, my, uh, I was. I thought I was looking pretty good because of because co- I got COVID right before the wedding, and so no, I like sick. lost lost some uh, COVID fat. Hot, hot, and, hot, hot. Uh, but then we we did nothing but drink for like three days straight before the wedding. So my yeah, head is so fucking fat and bloated for all the wedding photos <laughs> and this video specifically. Mm-hmm. And then I'm just like crying. I cried the whole goddamn time. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, the yeah. Bitch. The bitch. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, I was just like, man, I look yeah. fucking horrible. But it, it made me go like, this is actually probably better that I like truly look shitty that that way, when I get older, and my ki- and my kids are like, "Can I see your your you and mom's wedding photos?" and I show mm-hmm. them, and mm-hmm. they go, "Oh, you this. look the same. You've been fat the whole time. You've been kind of fat <laughs> right. and ugly the whole time." Right. And I'm like, "Exactly. Yes. Your boobs are huge." I- it's always weird when someone gets in fantastic shape for their wedding, mm-hmm. and then like immediately they just go back to their regular body size. Yeah, and yeah. then you're like, you're always look back at your wedding, and you're, and you're like, oh, I look horrible now. I remember being at like a, a a house of a neighbor, a friend growing up, and seeing their the parents who were like heavier, seeing their wedding picture, and being like, oh my god, who is, who is that? <laughs> and kind of putting it together and going, oh, like oh. That was a few hundred pounds ago. Sick. Yeah. Hey, oh, a you, few hundred you had pounds? Okay. Well, you know, people get older, they get bigger. It's <laughs> the <to> Midwest. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> they turned into my 600 pound Pasta Pasta's a hell of a drug. <laughs> yeah. I Yo, love can, me some pasta. Can I know? tell you guys this idea that has to do with ghosts at weddings? Okay. Um, you know how Slimer. it's you know how it's <laughs> super fucking. Off. You know how people like you can watch these YouTube clips of where it's like ghosts are real. Check it out, and it's pretty obvious sure. that somebody with After Effects is taking. He's back. <laughs> is taking low res like like online videos or whatever, and putting a low res like blur in yes. the background and shit. For sure, well, they're, getting, they're yeah. getting pretty good. It's like they're it's cool looking, and I was like, this would be the funniest fucking thing to do to my parents. Right, mm-hmm. is get their wedding video uh-huh. <laughs> and I go like put a fucking ghost mm-hmm. throughout yeah. the wedding video on the old like 1984 VHS quality. So mm-hmm. it's like. <laughs> And then I, on their is... wedding, and then on their wedding, say, or on their anniversary, say, we have to pull it out. I'll get the tape. Come on. I'll be the one to get Kyle, it. No, this is actually yeah. like unlocking something. I think, I think that's where they, they would, they would know if, if they were like, if no. you were the one that like, we have to watch the tape. You play I'll that get part. It. 
you play that part organically, you can definitely make it happen. Okay. You can make that happen. Then you mm -hmm. put the tape in and it's like, what the fuck was that? Well, There's even, like a... Right. Yeah. My, my parents don't like, have a tape. They don't even, they have like one photo from their wedding. I'm like, you right. guys didn't take any photos? And they're like, ah, no. Any like, memory video this could work with. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you could. This could work with. This, you could layer like new CGI on old like footage of videos and you, you could make something very cool. Like You guys are almost, just talking about Forrest Gump. No, no this is a prank. Yeah, this is like exactly. <laughs> they took old footage and put Forrest Gump there, like but picking up. The maybe girl's you can books. make it subtle. Like remember in Three Men and a Baby, where there was that, where they said there was that dude like standing in the in the closet, in the closet, and it was like yes. everybody's like it's a what? ghost or it was like a serial yes. killer. Yeah, yes. dude, we gotta show that now. That. We gotta we should show that Wait, clip. Or what do you we'll mean? There was like a there's a scanning the shot that goes past a closet, and you mm -hmm. see somebody looking through the, like the the closet doors that are not fully closed dude this what is it is internet so right. it's all word of mouth it's it's for sure just like the wardrobe girl who got stuck on set and they're like rolling and, and she's like it's, ah they found out what it was it was like a cardboard stand up right yeah it was like a cardboard stand up of like ted Danson or something or like oh. howie oh, mandel that, but someone, there's the wizard of Oz. i think it was either ted Danson or howie mandel but that was that's also disproven that's a bird was howie mandel in the three men and a baby that was the joke no <laughs> <laughs> but he had a haircut that could have been. Yeah. He was of the time. Okay. But there what about is. the right. Wizard of Oz one? There's like footage of somebody hanging. No, no, it's the it's the bird's neck. Yeah, there's one. There's birds on set, like a tall, like crane looking thing. Right. And but that was right. another very famous one. Oh, is there yeah. was like a, a big they said shot, a, and it, a they little said person there was a, hung themselves. Yes, yeah, uh, right. The uh, Munchkin yeah. Guild uh, hung the themselves. The Lollipop Guild. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah. what's called. I was I was in the Lollipop Guild in my first ever play. Yeah, in this in the second grade. So you've always been a union. Union guy. <laughs> yeah. I'm always part of the guild. I was always paying dues. Right on. Dude, I played Give Uncle. Me a hell yeah. I played Uncle Ben in the Wizard of Oz in a community really? theater performance. Yeah. Wizard Front of and Oz. Back, baby. baby. Andres, was there when she left? Anders was in Wicked on Broadway, so I, I, I was wishes. wicked. Soldiers in your hookup. He wishes. <laughs> uh, that 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 performance, like my mom had to make the, the wardrobe, you know, because it's like a high school production. I'm sure. like eight years sure. old. All and uh, she just dressed me. She went to like a costume shop. My mom it can't sew and isn't handy when it comes to that kind of stuff. So <laughs> she went to a costume <laughs> shop and uh, just bought me a pirate's, a pirate's outfit. So yeah, I'm okay. just dressed as a fucking pirate. And yeah, then but I get that striped socks and like the short pants. <laughs> no, but yeah, still. Yeah, it, was, it was fine. And then. And then we go, and now I'm just dressed as a pirate. And my dad came late, and we had just gotten a new, like, a video camera, you know? Ooh, and there, it was, like, early 90s. And so he's like, I I'm going to videotape. And he got there late. He's coming from work or something. And he sets up in the back with a, with a, with a big tripod and this giant-ass camera. Mm -hmm. And he films the wrong kid what? for the full hour and a half. <laughs> Wait, what? Because my he didn't know what I was wearing. My mom just sort of explained it. Look, and I've been on the train filmed, for a month. He filmed another important. child until until you see well. me like skip past the frame, yeah. and he just finds me. And then all of a sudden, you see him like oh, like correct okay. and go like, well, oh shit, we're following mm -hmm. this kid. Bro, we're following my son now. Okay, well now with the magic of Kyle's CGI, we can plug you into it, and it can look like your dad never <laughs> fucked anything up. He Kyle had you. Zemeckis. Yeah, that'd be but, great. <laughs> but also, I mean, you know, I know where your dad was. I know the stress. The stress that your dad must have been feeling just to set that fucking video camera up. Mm -hmm. Get it oh, running. Plug dude. it in. Put the tape in. And then there's a kid. And what a bitch I was, too. I remember like, coming home, like, wanting to see the performance. And he was, he was like, no, You're we trying don't to need to dailies? watch it now. Yeah, he was like, he was like, let's just, uh, what do you want to eat? Well, we can get some Kentucky Fried Chicken. Aww. That's my favorite meal. And I'm like, right. I'm like, no, I want to watch it. And then we watched <laughs> it. And then I see that he, and I just cried for, like, <laughs> like an hour straight. <laughs> Eating <laughs> chicken, crying. Hey, what just, What a little bitch. Crying into your bucket of. Yeah, crying was, bucket. Was Spicy KFC out yet at this point? Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, and, and in fact, I don't even know if it was KFC. I might have been on my Hardee's uh, fried chicken tip at oh, that point. Did Hardee's have It wasn't the original yeah. recipe? Yeah, yeah it was damn. good. Hardee's fried chicken was the shit. Mm, and Hardee's shit? is Burger King? Or I don't know what Hardee's is. Hardee's, Hardee's, Hardee's is Carl's Jr. And they had mm -hmm. chicken? 
Yeah, they had fried chicken Ooh. in the oh uh, in your God. favorite decade, Blake, the oh. '90s. Mm, wow. Hey, shout out to Brown's Chicken, a Chicagoland staple of the '90s. <laughs> it doesn't exist anymore. Oh, here's a short story that no one will understand. Okay, the Go Brown's off. Chicken murders happened in like the early uh, '90s, where a bunch of people got murdered at, at Brown's what? Chicken. Cut to like 15 years later, my family goes to Europe where my brother was living, and we we in Germany. We go to Paris to see the Eiffel Tower. We're in line to go up the Eiffel Tower and the person behind us goes, did you hear they found out who did the Brown's Chicken murders? And we all uh-huh. turn around and go, I'm sorry, did you just talk about the Brown's Chicken murders? And they're like, yeah. <laughs> who? Well, who did it? Some fucking guy and then some like, ma- <laughs> like I think it was like an angry girlfriend was like, Sirs. he did it, what? Make this fucking Netflix yeah. documentary murder. Yeah, like, why, this is This huge. is your murder this sounds podcast. Amazing. Yeah, this sounds amazing. A incredible. fried chicken murder? That sounds yeah. like something that I would like to watch. You yeah, should do sounds- it from the perspective of your family so you can get to Paris and be in line and be yeah. like, I'm sorry, what? Let me, I'm sorry. Let me call Shonda. <laughs> Let me call Shonda, who uh, is we? also a Chicago land native, and see if she's yeah. into it. Yes, yes get it going. Yes. Uh, are there going. any are there any flowers, any take backs, any uh um, giveaways? You know, flowers? Giveaways? Shout out to Brown's chicken. Okay. Oh man, I hell like yeah. That. Uh, I I'd like, like to that. give uh, some flowers to my dad, you know, shooting that uh that camera. Mm-hmm. Uh hiding hide that weed. He was doing his absolute best and it was his birthday the other day. So uh happy okay. birthday happy to happy him. Happy birthday. birthday. That's That's right. Right. Dennis D. Keep and, going. And uh, this strong. is going to come out like a month after his birthday, but uh, Very cool. love the guy and How old is he? That shit's and important. 65 now. Legit uh and a senior citizen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice. that's like uh, what the the cheaper menu at Denny's. And yeah, movies he, he and gets stuff. some discounts. He's pretty Fuck, pumped yeah, on it. I, that's so sick. Yeah. Um, uh, flowers to Folgers. Thanks for being there. Fo- and that's Folgers a good looking mug. Cup. Should that we talk is. about how good that mug looks? Yeah, Look at flowers nice to the classic. to the OG yeah, classic, classic Folgers cup diner mug, baby. Thank you. Uh, yeah. And I and I'd like to give a special shout out to General Hospital. Thank you for all the years you've put in on television. You were around uh, when I was sick, home from school, and my mom was entertained by you. So thank you so much for everything you're doing over there, guys. Keep it up. Very well said. Oh, and uh, real quick, uh, real quick plug. Please watch the Righteous Gemstones Sunday oh. night, uh, ten p.m. Check it uh, out. We Is are that out. Gonna be that's it's gonna. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Got yeah, it. It, it comes out uh, this Sunday, and then uh, and then we have nine Sunday. episodes, so it'll perfect. It'll be out. Perfect. Hell yeah. Yeah. Perfect. I love yeah. it. Com- coming in hot, 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 hey, hot. Hey, you know what, Adam? You know what that is to me. That uh, is important. important. And it's this. It's not that. I know. But that was. This or that. Little this, you can do it with this. Yeah, you can do it that. Fine. This or that. <laughs> should, we, <laughs> okay. should we do it again? This, this is, is important. 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 Way better the second time. 